Good morning, welcome to LIT, low impact training. We're gonna use weights for today's workout, so have those handy. Make sure you have some water nearby. We're gonna get started with our warm up. So feet nice and wide, a little better than hip distance. We're gonna inhale, reach those arms up. Take a nice deep breath and then exhale down and around. And just do a couple of big arm circles to warm us up. Our focus for today's class will be strength. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna do a little bit of everything, upper body, lower body, and core along the way as well with a balance exercise in our last circuit that will be a little tricky, a good challenge. One more big arm circle, inhale and exhale, perfect. A couple shoulder rolls as we start to bring those feet together. And we're gonna do a side to side squat here just so we open up and warm up the sides of our hips. So you're gonna step out to the side, drop into your squat, come back to the center. And then do the other side, same exact thing. Stepping out into that squat, drop and lift. Keep that movement. We're gonna do another time-based workout where we have circuits, three exercises, and we'll go through three rounds of each. So we'll just get about one minute in between each circuit. So we're just pretty much going to be moving the whole time. I want you to get your heart rate up with the workout as well. Keep it going. And everything is low impact. So we're going to be feeling good after our workout. We've got four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna take our hands right behind our ears. We're gonna do a crisscross opposite elbow to knee. March for about 30 seconds here. Starting to warm up that core, standing up nice and tall. Hands right by your ears so we don't scrunch our shoulders up. And reach that opposite elbow to your knee as we march in place. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Low impact training. Our focus is strength for today's workout. So just starting to get our heart rates up a little bit here. We've got four, three, two, and one. Let's take it back for an inchworm walkout. Go ahead and start, shift those hips back. Hands to the floor. Come to that plank and then walk it back out. So we're gonna do this for about 45 seconds. And then we're gonna add a little layer onto this more of exercise. Looking good, everybody. Core nice and strong as we walk out to that plank. Nice and slow here. All right, so we're gonna do one more walkout. You're gonna stay nice and low. So stay in this plank. Once you lift those hips up to down dog. And as you do that, you're gonna lift that right leg up. Inhale, exhale, twist your right foot in between your hands. Feel free to drop that bottom knee to the floor. Reach and twist with that right arm. You're gonna step back to down dog. Do the same thing on the other side. Left leg lifts, bring that foot right in between your hands, lower the back knee, reach and twist. So let's do a couple on each side and you're gonna take it nice and slow. We're just opening up our hips here. It's early in the morning, so it might take a couple extra seconds to get into this lunge and reach. Inhale and exhale. I sort of use my hands to help bring that foot all the way to the top. So you're going to do one more on each side. Again, nice and slow, just to open up those hips. Perfect. I've got one more to do. And you're going to end in your nice downward facing dog. So everyone find a down dog, pedal out your heels. Press your chest towards your thighs, and then lower those knees to the floor. You're gonna sit back for a quick 
child's pose right here. Just to get a nice little stretch for our back before we get started. So sitting back into those hips, take a few breaths to get a nice stretch. And then slowly make your way up to standing. Head comes up last, roll the shoulders at the top. We're gonna shake those arms out. Nice full body roll, feet wide. Let's start with those shoulders, inhale. You're gonna bend the knees and then exhale, roll it up. One more time, stay nice and low here. Feel free to move those hips side to side. And then a gentle, another type of twist with our upper body. We're gonna go ahead and drop that right shoulder. Keep those hips nice and low. Inhale back to center, exhale, other shoulder drops. And then slowly come back up. And then stretch out whatever else you need to. Hopefully you're feeling warm after that warm up and we're gonna get going. So we want our weights for today's class. I'm gonna show you our first two exercises. For the first exercise, lighter weights. For the second one, a little bit heavier. So first one is gonna be a squat to a rotating overhead press. So weights are up here, shoulders down from those ears. You're coming to more of a narrow type squat. So you're gonna squat, overhead press, but you add that rotation rather than just going straight up. So squat, you rotate with those hips, down and press. So that back heel comes off the mat here and rotates. Do so you want to pivot that? So inhale, exhale. Exercise two, I want you to grab something a little bit heavier. We're sort of breaking down a burpee. Okay, so you want to make sure you have room behind you. Heavier weight, we're gonna go curl, press, feet are wide. You're gonna bring those weights to the floor. See how flat my back is? So the legs do all the work here. And then you're gonna step out to your plank. You're gonna come back up and then repeat. Now, if you can't quite make it to the floor without rubbing that back, then you can take out the plank or use a bench or a chair. So maybe you stop right here and do a tap instead of a full plank, okay? And I'm just watching, so I don't want you to do this, I want you to use your legs, right? Super low squat, we're gonna feel those legs burn. Let's get started with those two, okay? We're gonna start in about five seconds. So light weights, what you would use for an overhead press, not too heavy, let's get started. Squat and press. So this first squat, getting us prepared for that much, deeper and low squat that we're gonna do next. Inhale and exhale. Keep it up everybody. Oh, we got lots of people looking good. Good morning, everybody. Keep moving. We can go on. So you have a couple seconds left. We're gonna take 15 seconds to transition. Remember, you're gonna grab a heavy weight for exercise two. Three, two, let's grab it. Moderate to heavy, okay? We're gonna start curl or press. In three, two, feet nice and wide. Then you go curl, press, and a nice low squat. We're gonna lean with the hips. You reach to the floor, step out to your plank. A slow impact, so you're gonna go nice and slow, there's no jumping. And then repeat. Keep that back nice and flat. I really want you to use your legs here, use your glutes. And again, reaching the floor, not gonna happen. You can stay here and just step back instead. So you can follow me for that alternative. Gotta use the legs. Woo! Nice and low, legs should already be burning. I'm gonna check it out, a couple more seconds. Curl and press, yeah, curl to Julia, nice flat back. Good, Linda, lead with those hips. We've got three, two, one. Exercise three, you're gonna keep those weights, maybe a little bit lighter. Then we'll swing, high row pull. Swing, pull back from the front. Swing, pull back. So your elbows come to this position. And you pull back. Let's go ahead and start. Swing, pull back. 
So remember the swing is all in those hips. So it's like a hip thrust. Swing, pull back. Woo, we're gonna really fill those arms here. That moderate weight might be a little too heavy. We can always adjust if it is. Swing, pull back. So this one really gets that heart rate up. Keep going. Less than 15. Remember the swing is sort of in that hip action, sort of like a bridge, like a standing bridge. So not a squat, but a hip, a hip thrust, right? Dumbbell swing. Three, two, one. All right, last one. We're going to take it to the floor. Okay, we could do, I recommend the lightweight. We're going to come into a rotating side plank. You're going to reach up, come back to the center, rotate. Other side. Okay, can lower that knee for some support. We're going to alternate it. Start with those feet wide. Starting in three, two, let's go. Alternating side plank. So you can even start with just your body weight, see how that feels. Use that bottom leg like I am for support. Nice and easy. Keep it up. So you can also do this on your forearms, right? Whatever option works for you. Just open up a little bit on your forearms. Keep up. Keep up. Either way, that hand is stacked right on top of your shoulder, and I want you to do this nice and slow. Okay? Today's all about strength, nice and slow. Go ahead and stop. Let's come on up to standing. We're going to repeat. Grab those lighter weights. Squat, rotating press. In three, two, let's go. Squat and rotating press. So in your squat, your hips go back. Your chest stays up, right? Let me see it. Keep it up. So lightweight is because it's overhead, but you can always make it a little bit, a little bit heavier if you want. Maybe just do one arm at a time. Nice. Perfect. Looking good, guys. Looking good. And more seconds. Make sure you're pivoting those, those ankles, those feet, nice and slow. Three, two, grab a little bit heavier. Curl and press. Remember to do this with the chair or bench. Ready, set, curl and press, take it to your plank, let's go. I'm gonna use my bench for this one. Curl, press. So you can take a look at my screen, see how I'm adjusting it. Curl, press. Instead of weights to the floor, they go right to my bench. And I still step out into my plank. Come on. So we're doing a little bit of everything in this one exercise. Woo! You got about 10 more seconds. If you're going all the way to the floor, I want to see a nice flat back and want your hips to do the work there. Yes, perfect, Bill. Great form. Good, Julianne. Feet are nice and wide in your squat because your weight's got to go in between, right? So your feet got to be nice and wide. Three, two, and stop. Stay here. Dumbbell swing into that high row. I'm going to grab a little lighter weight. Let's go. Swing. Look at the kettlebell swing. And you pull those elbows back. High row. She's a little too light. Keep up. On those hips with your swing. Think of like a bridge. Think of doing a bridge but standing. So your hips push forward, right? And you squeeze your glutes. Yes, perfect. Yep. Very good. Yep. Squeeze those glutes as you press forward. Looking good. And then you pull back right there at the top. So more seconds. Four, 
Three, two, rotating side plank. Take it down. I'm gonna show this one elevated as well. <clears throat> rotating side plank with or without that weight. Go ahead, go ahead and go ahead and start ahead and start. On my bench. Much less intensity. Whew. Keep it up. If you have that bench or chair, just make sure it's nice and sturdy, right? Another option is just lowering that opposite knee to the floor, nice and slow, your feet are wide. If you want it a little harder, bring your feet close together. You got about 10 more seconds left. So ways to make it a little bit harder, feet together. And you're gonna feel your core a lot more with that adjustment. Three, two, and one. Awesome, come on up. Let's do it one more time through and then we'll get our full minute of break. Squat, rotating plank. Here we go in three, two, let's go. That narrow squat and then press. Rotating press, neck plank. You can do one or both arms. Up to you. Maybe pushing straight in front feels better on your shoulders. You can do that as well. Remember, nice and slow. I want you to think about each movement, even though a squat is so simple. I want you to take it nice and slow. Yep, everyone looks good. Perfect. Make sure that back doesn't arch when we press overhead, right? Tuck those hips under. Good. We've got three, two, one. All right, our next one, curl and press to your plank. You're on the floor or elevated, let's go. Feet are wide for this one, right? Because you gotta take them to the floor. Curl and press, come out to that plank. It's all in those legs, right? Curl, press, Use your legs, get nice and low. Step out to your plank, woo, and then come back out. Using my bench here. About 15 more seconds. Let me check in. Nice, strong plank. Beautiful, good Julianne. Good, curl, break down every movement nice and slow. Use your legs. And stop. So your booty should be on fire from that one. Booty should be on fire. All right, dumbbell swing. Same with this one, all in the loops. Let's go. Swing, high row. So it's like you're doing a hip thrust. I want you to squeeze your glutes when you come to the top of that. Perfect. You should be feeling your booty right about now. If you're not, maybe make a little adjustment. Make sure you're doing it correctly. Everyone looks like they are. But you should be feeling those glutes. Oof. They're doing all the work here. And then of course your arms, pulling those elbows back. This one's getting that heart rate up. You got a few more seconds here. And then our alternating side plank. Three, two, one. Alternating side plank. Couple seconds to get there, either on the floor or your elevated surf surface. In three, two, either lift the weight or body weight. Let's go. Remember, less than 10 feet wide. If you want a little more intensity. A little more work for your core this morning. Bring your feet closer in. Feel that difference. Woo. Oh yes, I feel it right away. Keep it up. Nice and slow. Is when you extend that arm up, we're not just flilling it up, right? We're taking it nice and slow. And you're gonna stack that wrist right on top of your shoulder. Good, make sure that wrist is right on top of that shoulder, Linda, nice and slow. Good, perfect. Couple 
more seconds. Can you tuck those hips under? Pull those abs in a little bit tighter for three, two, and one. All right, so I've got a minute on my timer. We'll take a breather. You're gonna grab some water real quick. How's everyone doing? Check in, we're good. Good job, everybody. Good morning, Katie, Julia, and Linda. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so our second circuit, we have a punch combo. So our feet are nice and wide, but our upper body is doing most of the movement. So I don't want you to move your hips around. We're gonna keep them right here. I would start with that lightweight, punch down, punch down, and then across. But again, it's all in the torso. So your hips and knees really don't move. I want just the top half of your body moving. Exercise two, keep the light weights, open up those hips for a sumo squat, and then we're gonna do the sunshines. So you're making the shape of a sun or a circle with your arms, tap together down the bottom, and then overhead at the top. And then we're gonna go to lower body and core. And we're gonna do our donkey kick, heavier weight. You're gonna do a donkey kick, and then out to the side, fire hydrant. So we get glutes and hamstrings, and then our outer thighs. So let's start from the top with those punches. Start with the lightweight, and then you can always adjust to heavier. So feet about hip distance. We do two low, two a little higher than shoulders. Ready, set, let's hit it. So too low, too high, but not too high. Just right at shoulder height. Think of wringing or twisting on a towel, okay? And the part that you're twisting that towel, that's your core, that's your waist. So all that movement is right in this upper body. Boom, boom, okay? You don't have to go fast, but I want you to think of twisting that towel. And the center of that towel is your waist. Right? Once you start to feel more comfortable, you can go a little faster. Just keep your hips and knees in place. And try to add those levels, right? Low, and then a little higher. Woo! And we're gonna feel right here as well, our back and our lats working. Three, two, one. Stick to your light weights. Open those hips, sumo squat, making that sunshine. Let's go. As you lift overhead, you can add a calf raise. Nice and slow. Arms are straight, inhale, exhale. And although your arms come overhead, I want them slightly in front, right? So I want you to see them, the top. I want you to see your arms the whole time, creating that circle shape. Very good. How low can you get in the sumo squat? And imagine you're sliding down the back of a wall. So you still keep your chest up here in that squat, right? Yeah, perfect. Push those knees out to the side. Got more seconds here. Three, two, let's take it to the floor. Grab a heavier weight. Place it behind your right knee. You're gonna lower to your elbows. Lower to your elbows and forearms. One donkey kick, one fire hydrant. Go, just the right leg. Lift up and then lift out to the side. Lift straight up, out to the side without letting go of that weight. Woo! Targeting those legs, glutes, hamstrings, but also our core. Stay on the side the whole time. Okay, imagine a piece of string attached to your knee for your fire hydrant. You want to lift that up as high as you can without moving your hips, okay? Hips will move a little bit, but try to keep them nice and steady. Get one more on this side. One more, and then we're gonna switch behind the left knee. Behind the left knee, keep your hips facing the floor. Left side, let's go. So straight up and then out to the side. Keep your gaze slightly in front. Want our neck nice and long. 
Lift as high up as you can for that donkey kick. Woo. Squeeze and hold on to that weight. So also working your hamstrings. Add a little bit extra squeeze here. Woo. Keep it up. Bring that knee a little bit higher. Got a few more seconds on this side. We've got three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, come back up. Let's go from the top. Come up to standing. We go back to our punches. Punches, ready, set, let's go. So all in the waist. So I just grab a little bit heavier. Down, down, up, up. Remember, you're wringing out that towel. Woo! All on the waist. Woo! So now I'm filling it with these heavier weights. And you don't want one to be too heavy that they're pulling you down, though, right? You still want control there. Woo! I'm gonna fill this one. Keep it up. Couple more seconds. Remember, it's all in the waist, so we don't want our knees or hips to move. I know it's a little harder. Use that core. Make sure you're twisting. Twist all the way. Three, two, and one. Lighter weights. Number two, sumo squat with our sunshines. Let's go. Down and up. Down and lift. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Can you go a little bit higher? So working into those inner and outer thighs. Open up from the hips and then your knees and your ankles open. Get nice and low. Push those knees out. Beautiful. Get a little lower. Woo! Inhale, exhale. You've got a couple more seconds left and then we come down for donkey kicks. Three, two, take it on down. Remember, moderate to heavy behind your right knee. I want you down on your elbows, your forearms, not your hands. Ready, set, let's go. It's a donkey kick and then a fire hydrant. So straight up and then out to the side. Slow. Woo. Straight up and out to the side. Take your time here. <laughs> Take your time. Keep it up. If you start to feel your back kind of compensate a little bit, or maybe it feels like a little twinge, it might be you're pushing too far. So if you're feeling that, you don't have to lift as high and maybe slow it down a little bit. Perfect. Yep. Did you in? I can see. Perfect. If you're feeling your back arch. You're also going a little too hard as well. So keep your core nice and strong. Your back is flat. You should be able to balance a glass of water the whole time you're doing this. And go ahead and stop. Let's switch. So keep that in mind. So if you're shaking, that cup's going to fall over. You should be able to balance a cup of water on your back. Ready, set, left leg, let's go. Don't let that glass spill. Foot goes straight up for the donkey kick. So think of that movement leading with your foot. And then when you come out to the side, lift that knee up. Not forcing the movement. All depends on your range of motion too. Whew. So just take it nice and slow without dropping that cup of water. And hopefully you're starting to feel that opposite leg, the one that's actually doing most of the work and holding you up. Keep your head up, neck nice and long. You've got three, two, our final round. Come on up. Final round, let's go back to those punches. All right, here we go. I'm back to my lightweights. Let's go. It's a nice strong stance. Punch, punch. Remember, all in the waist. 
We can bring me out a towel. Waste. I know we might not be able to get too much range of motion if we sit and don't move all day, but here's your chance to get that range of motion. Practice it. Work on it. We all need to work on that. Come on. So you can take it nice and slow. And if you're feeling a little more stretched out, maybe you add an extra inch to each side. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Last time. Yep, I see a lot more range. Looking good, everyone. Yep. And extension, full extension with your arms too, right? Boom, boom. Full extension. So we really work that back. Couple more seconds, everyone. Three, two, one. Stay here. Let's go to the sun shines. Keep the light weight. Ready, set, open from the hips first. Let's go. So if we start from the hips, then the knee, then the ankle will also open. We're keeping that space in between our ears and shoulders. Looking good, everyone. Woo, so a little bit balance here, right? Lifting up into that calf raise. Can you maybe lift a little higher? Woo! Can you maybe get lower in your sumo squat? We just had the donkey kick, fire hydrant combo. Coming up. Three, two, take it to the floor. Here we go, onto our elbows. Donkey kick, fire hydrant. You gotta keep that glass of water on your back. Ready, set, right leg, let's go. Lift, lower. Out to the side and then lower. Woo! Can you squeeze on a little tighter? Hold on to that weight a little bit tighter. Woo! Make sure you're not looking all the way down or all the way up, but find somewhere in the middle as well. We want our shoulders totally relaxed here. No tension in our neck and shoulders. We got a few more seconds with this right leg. Woo! Come on, let's get one more rep in here. Lift the heel a little higher without arching that back. Oh my gosh, let's switch. 10 seconds real quick, left side. Nice and slow, here we go. Three, two, let's do it. Let's do it. Donkey kick, fire hydrant. Squeeze a little tighter against that weight. Give a little extra squeeze there. Come on, everyone, we got this. Woo! A nice break is coming up. Let me do our final circuit of the morning. Come on. Stay strong. Stay strong. Keep those hips steady. Can you maybe lift an inch higher? It's your last round. Less than 10. Nice and slow, keep up. One final rep. And stop. Woo, take a minute. Come on up. Grab some water. How are we doing? We got one more circuit left, all right? One more circuit, here's what we're doing. So this is gonna be Upper body heavy, so mainly upper body, okay? So my one with body weight, I'm probably gonna do body weight. We're gonna work on that posture again. I call it goal post, right? 90 degrees, okay? We wanna keep that space between our ears and shoulders. Goal post, in, out, in, out. We're just adding a march with it, okay? Nice and slow, we don't wanna arch our back while we're doing it. If you get uncomfortable, drop the weight. Number two, up, heavier weight. Kneeling row, so we're taking our back, our low back out of this one. So make sure you have something for your knee. 
And trust me, you're gonna you're gonna feel your back a lot more because you don't have to worry about standing or this position. All right, kneeling row. And then we're going to end. This is the balance that I was talking about at the beginning of class. Okay? You're gonna find a wall, or maybe you don't need a wall. A warrior free balance, tricep kickback. And then we switch. Hold on to something in front of you. Keep that leg up. And it's gonna be your kickback. So that's your challenge. All right? So make sure you have something for your knee here, and then maybe something to hold on to for your balance. Let's start with our number one goal post. In and out. All right? Ready, set? Let's go. So think of zipping up a tight pair of pants. And your core lifts that knee up. I'm going to show the side view. So in, out. In, out. Anytime your elbows start to drop, lower the weight. It just means it's a little too heavy. you got to stay right here. Okay? So I'll probably do body weight for the second round. I have light weights, but... I'm already feeling it, right? These are smaller muscles. Let's see it. Goal pose. Perfect. Yep, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. We are feeling it already. Three, I am. Two, and one. Let's come on down. Switch to those heavy weights. Right leg, right knee down. We're gonna do rows. Right, this is your position. You're slightly bent forward. Head up, let's go. Just the row. Right knee down, left leg is in front. We're taking out every other element so that you are just focusing on your back. And only your arms are moving, right? Your chest is down towards your thigh. Your back is flat. Woo! You wanna pull those elbows up and you wanna bring that weight to your rib cage. And also, shoulders away from your ears, right? Should be a nice space in between your ears and your shoulders. Kneeling row, keep it up. All right, let's switch other side. Keep moving. Forgot to switch that a little bit earlier, so this first one will be a little longer. That's okay. This is great to work these back muscles. Woo! So you should feel they're more of that middle back, right? Our lats, those are the muscles. Elbows back, shoulders down. Reach and pull, come on. Just the arms, let me see it. Make sure we're all in the right form. Just the arms, reach and pull. Good, this should feel hard. Just using those back muscles which also tend to be a little bit weaker. Couple more seconds, three, two, now you're gonna stand up. Here's our warrior three balance. I just grabbed two of my lighter weights. I could probably grab one. All right, right side. So right leg up, try to kick back with your right arm. All right, ready, set, let's go. And then we do the other side. So I'm just holding on to the wall here. Right leg is straight back. And I'm doing my kickback. So just bend at the elbow. I'll come a little closer for you all. Woo, standing leg is slightly bent. You're extending that arm. Keep going, a couple more seconds. Three, two, let's do the other side. Set it up, keep that core nice and strong. Ready, set, let's go. Left leg, straight back. Practice your balance and add that kickback. <clears throat> so the other option, you could just do your kickback without your balance, right? Which is what I'm doing right now. So just do your kickback. Yeah, so just feel the back of those arms. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep it up. Just that one side. So we really challenge our body here. Woo! Left side, three. Two and one, perfect. Let's come back to the top. First exercise, goal post. Here we go, I'm gonna do two body weight. Three, 
two, let's go. In, out, in, out. Try to bring your elbows in and out. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Woo! Just a few more seconds here. We got 10 more. In, out, elbows stay up. Lift those knees, back is flat. Four, three, two, kneeling row, let's go. Heavier weight, left leg in front, right knee down. Starting in, three, two, let's go. Reach and pull, inhale and exhale. You're slightly bent forward. Woo, pull, keep it up. Pull those elbows all the way back. Think of bringing those weights right to your rib cage. Couple more with this leg in front. And then try to do a seamless switch here. Go ahead and bring the other leg in front and just keep rowing. Keep rowing. Less than 30 seconds and we've got our balance. Woo! Exhale, pull. Pull. Keep it up. Couple more seconds and then our balance. Beautiful. We've got four, three, two, come on up. Here we go, right leg, right arm. Find that balance, warrior three, right side, let's go. So just the kick back with that right arm while your right leg is lifted. You can use a chair or a bench here. Woo! So just that right side, really working your core to stay stabilized. That's the trick here. Yep, perfect. Keep it up. Couple more seconds on this side. Tuck those hips. All right, let's switch. Left side. Set it up, let's go. Woo! Keep that leg straight. And your hips towards the floor. That's the tricky part. Woo! Especially with that same side arm doing the kickback. That's what makes this hard. You might feel like you're tilting to the side a little bit. So try to reset with your core. Keep those hips facing the floor. Work those abs a little harder. We've got four, three, two, final round. And then we are done. Back to goal post. Roll the shoulders in three. Arms up two. Let's go. It's in and out. In and out. It's the last round. I'll grab those weights. Nice and slow, everybody. You got this. Woo! Think of zipping up a tight pair of pants. You're nice and tall here. In, out. In, out. Shoulders away from those ears. So here, working on the posture muscles straight behind us. Beautiful, you'll look great, couple more seconds. Three, two, kneeling row, grab those heavy weights. Come on down, right knee back. Lean forward slightly, let's go. So set up right here. Now watch my screen if you want something a little harder. Without moving your hips, lift your knee off the floor. See how I did that? But stay low. It's just an extra challenge. Okay? Try it. Keep rolling. A couple more seconds on this side. You're going to fill those glutes. But I want you to stay low. Do it from the floor. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Other leg in front. Ready, set, go. Start low. If you want to try the extra challenge, it's a lot for the legs. Just lift that knee off the floor, see? Woo! You're gonna fill those glutes. Just an action. Couple more rows, come on, reach and pull. Keep those hips low. Four, three, two, one, come on up. Here's that balance. Woo! Glutes were burning with that one. All right, here we go. Right side, find your balance, let's go. Keep that right leg straight. 
Extend, kick back, kick back with that arm, squeeze the back. Beautiful. Nice, perfect everybody. Great balances here, a couple more on the side. And that leg a little higher. Three, two, let's switch it left side. And this is where we end. Woo, go ahead and start. Leg that's up, make it nice and straight. Nice and straight. Woo! Straighten that leg. Keep it up. Just a few more seconds. Come on, hold on to it. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Great job, everyone. If you have a sip of water, you are awesome. Woo, we're gonna stretch it out. Couple of shoulder rolls here. Shake it out. Woo, so hope you're feeling our, our side body, our obliques, our core. Let's take it to the floor and start with our tabletop position and come into our cat cow. So I'm gonna let you all out a little late today. Hopefully you can stay for an extra couple minutes, quick stretch. As you inhale, I want you to drop your belly to the floor. Nice and slow, lift your chest and tailbone. Exhale, pull that chin around the spine. Woo, and then again, inhale and exhale. So hope you got good workout. Joints are happy, you should not be out of breath. This was strength, so hopefully your muscles are feeling this and we'll feel it tomorrow and the next day. And since we were working our muscles, we will continue to burn calories throughout the rest of the day, which is awesome. And it makes us stronger. Let's bring those knees wider, feet together, sit back into your child's pose. So take two breaths. And here's where we're gonna get that nice stretch in the side body that we just worked. So inhale, you're gonna walk your hands over to that right diagonal as far as you can and hold that there. Relax your head. Woo. And then inhale back to the center. Same thing, other side. Go until you feel that stretch start to happen and we're not forcing the, the position. Just go until you feel that little stretch and I want you to stop right there. And then back to the center, inhale and then exhale because stretching should feel good. If we're tight, maybe a little uncomfortable, but it should never not feel good. Okay, let's come down to our back. Nice and slow. This one's gonna feel really good. We're gonna hug those knees into our chest. Woo. I want you to wiggle your toes and circle your ankles. And you're just gonna rock gently from side to side. Sort of massaging your back into the floor. Great job. All right, feet down. Let's extend our right leg up. We're gonna take our ankle over that knee. We call this our pretzel or figure four stretch. This gets into our hips and our glutes, which we also worked a lot today. So you can just gently press against that leg. Keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your head down. If you want a little more, feel free to bring the legs closer into your chest. As long as you can keep your back flat, then you can do that. If not, stay here with me. One more breath. And then let's switch. And we're nice and gentle with our bodies. And let's do the other side. Same thing, up number. Just like with our workout, right? Not here to beat ourselves up. Well, maybe some of you are, but <laughs> don't have to beat ourselves up to get a good workout. So same thing, either gently press against that leg or pull those legs in. Keep your upper body relaxed. If you have to tense it up, then adjust your stretch. No tensing here. And then let's relax. Woo, let's extend those legs straight out, arms overhead. You're gonna make yourself a little longer. Big deep breath in, and then big deep breath out. All right, let's roll over. So let's hit up those hamstrings in our downward facing dog. 
for our last stretch here. So down dog, lift those hips way up, pedal your heels, relax your head. Can you push your chest closer to your legs? Push to your thighs. Big, big stretch here. Oof. All right, knees down. Let's roll it on up. Take it nice and slow so you don't get too dizzy. Shoulder rolls at the top. Shake it out. Maybe later today and get in the door and do your that doorway stretch. Nice stretch for your chest and shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the knees, shake it out. One more time together, inhale and exhale. Great job. So sorry, I went over a little bit. It's gonna go carried away. You all were great. How are we feeling?